Hi, my name is Tom Lapelli. I work in Magic R&D, and I'll be doing commentary about the Magic Online Championships Season 1 Finals. The Magic Online Season Championships bring out the very best Magic Online players. Some of them you may have heard of before. Others are people who have never achieved success in a real live event, but online they are very, very strong. We have examples here in the finals of both of those kinds of players. Tommy Versity is Stefan Steiner from Austria, a relative unknown. Downfall, on the other hand, is Diego Ostrovich, a one-time well-known pro from Argentina. Inside Magic R&D, we were speculating about whether this event was more challenging than a Grand Prix Day 2 or not, and we had people who were on both sides of the argument. So there are lots of skilled players in this event. However, that doesn't mean that people can't come out of nowhere and win, their, win themselves a ticket to the World Championships. Downfall wins the die roll, which is a big deal in this matchup, for the Fairy deck. The Fairy deck definitely wants to play Bitter Blossom or Broken Ambitions on turn two before his opponent has a chance to set up, and he may Downfall may have that chance here. Tommy Versity starts off with a Noble Hierarch, which is also a big deal in this matchup. That card would help him get off to fast starts with cards like Kitchen Finks on turn two, so it's not a surprise that Downfall kills it with an Agony Warp right away. Happily for Downfall, the only pressure that comes on turn two is a 1-1. One -one. It's not, not such a terrible thing, although Noble Hierarch is going to help a little bit. That three mana is a little bit suspicious, and we'll have to see what he does with it. Turns out we have a Scion of Una, which will protect the Sower of Temptation that he is now playing. That's a very powerful way to take momentum away from the creature deck, is to have a Sower of Temptation that takes their creature and can't be killed with Path to Exile thanks to the Shroud granted by Scion of Una. That Spectral Procession is going to make the Windbrisk Heights that Tommy Versity just played go off fairly easily. It'll be interesting to see what was underneath there. Downfall here has four mana, which threatens any number of cards out of the fairy deck. Either Mistbind Click or Cryptic Command are possible. And it was a Mistbind Click here. That was actually a very crushing exchange for Downfall. He played a Mistbind Click with the intention of championing the Scion of Una but the Scion of Una was hit with, with a Path to Exile in response, which meant that he had to champion the Sower of Temptation instead. That means he loses control of Tommy Versity's Noble Hierarch, and now we'll find out what's underneath the Windbrisk Heights. That one card in Downfall's hand, if it were a Cryptic Command here, it would have been a lot better for him. He would have been able to counter the, the Wiltleaf Liege off the Windbrisk Heights and take much less damage here. Instead, he had to only Broken Ambitions, the Spectral Procession, and he has one card to draw. Was it a good one? He has to protect himself from this army of creatures, and as it turns out, he drew the, exactly the one card he needed to draw, a Cryptic Command to tap all of his opponent's creatures and buy exactly enough time to win with his Misbind Click.